hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to look into chart.js it's a javascript library for creating some beautiful charts here uh, you can see the official site is this chart.js.org and uh, if you go to sample space then here you can see different samples here you can see some vertical bar charts so this is the vertical bar chart then after you can also see the horizontal bar chart like this similarly you can you can also see line charts right then after uh, there are other charts too so bar chart or pie chart so this is the bar chart and this is the pie chart so we will be working on uh, creating all these different charts today so let's get started so here i have chart.html file with some html template here now uh, let us define one canvas element here canvas then after it should be provided some id here canvas id equals uh, chart underscore demo then after we need to provide uh, a cdn link so in order to use uh, those links you can go to get started page here and then after uh, you can go in install installation section here so chart.js can be installed by using npm if you have npm on your system then you can install it by using npm then after it also can be installed using bower uh, for this tutorial we will be using cdn so let us go to the cdn page here so we can copy this cdn url copy then after add it here script script and then after source equals the cdn link here now we can go to the browser and we can do view page source here so here you can see some javascript has been added so it is because of the chart.js library now let us write some javascript here script then after here uh, we can create uh, we need to create one variable here variable context which is equals to document dot get element by id then after the id is chart demo here so get element by id this then after we, we also need to define get context here get context and 2d now we need to create an object of chart new chart then after we need to pass context here and we also need to pass config here so for config we can pass we can do this and then after uh, then after we can define uh, the type of chart which will be line in this case line then after we can pass data so so it will be an object on data we can define different labels and data sets and all those stuffs which our chart will use so uh, on labels let us define some array here let us create an array here uh, here it will be uh, the name of uh, students so let us write some name here harry then after tom say sam here then after so i need two more names here peter then after the last name will be say um albert so levels has been defined now we, we need to add data sets here so on data sets we can pass uh, objects here like um, labels so it will be the name of our uh, chart so uh, in this case it will be students reports right so these are the name of students and we also need to pass some um, mark sheet of those students so it will be so the label will be students report you can see all these outputs on chart so you don't have to worry about it now so we also can pass data here so on data we need to pass data for these uh, items here so since it's a student report so 
let's add some mark sheet of students so 40 then after 50 then after say 100 uh, 90 and then uh, say like uh, 25 right save this now let's go on browser and see the chart so so here you can see the chart has been created here the level is saying undefined so there must be some mistake on our code so it should be level not level save it and so students report so it's the level of this uh, chart right so here you can see this level means the name of students which is displaying here Harry Tom Sam Peter and Albert right then after these are the these are the data so for Harry is uh, 40 as you can see for Harry is 40 for Tom is 50 so for Tom it's 50 so if I hover here you can see data is for Harry is for Tom and it's for uh, Sam is for Peter and it's for Albert right it's for Albert we can also add background color to these charts so for that we need to add background color here background color and we need to give five different colors here so red then after blue say pink then after so i don't like pink so let us say purple purple say gray or say brown then after mm -hmm, maroon right maroon or let us say like uh, orange save this and see in browser so here you can see so this is red then blue then purple then uh, another color then orange color right now now let me change the name of this chart so from line if i say i want bar chart then so this is the bar chart here you can see some clear uh, coloring and the data right so it's 40 50 then after it's 90 uh, 90 both 90 and it's 25 so these are our data now we can also change uh, from bar we can also use pie chart so this is the pie chart so if you want uh, some other charts then you can go and see on this page if you want this donut chart then you can use this too so type donut chart so this is our donut chart here let me make it to pi Now you can also pass other uh, options here if you go to uh, this font sections here you can see this so let us copy these options here from here to here copy then after uh, we can add it here after data paste it here save this so what this font is doing is so here we are using font color of black so it's black now for now now let's use uh, say blue so it's using those uh, blue labels here as you can see why because for labels we are providing the font color of blue right we can also pass uh, border width here border width to, of two here copy sorry save it and uh, see in browser for now let us add 10 here to see the actual width here see here you can see the width of 10 has been added see but it's not looking so good so for now let us add just two here so it's two here so that is about using chart.js library for creating some beautiful charts you can create any charts you like so if you liked this video, then please don't forget to subscribe the channel. I will see you in the next video.